yeah, it's time for another video because the hotfix patch just came out the news and what do we have in the patch i'm gonna move my camera now i'm gonna walk you through uh, the hotfix i just uh, took a minute and read uh, the hotfixes and what is important from the today the 18th of july content improvements ui and ux an option has been added to turn off other players effects projectile explosions and the director's comment as Glay infinite launcher build became popular we took temporary measures to address an issue where the explosion effect was disturbing gameplay severely thank you currently we only provide the option to disable other players projectile explosion effects but we are planning to enhance this future for other effects as well a system message has been added to make it easier to check the dbno status of allies uh, blah, blah blah this was not so important but here is one important change away from keyboard afk has been added to the player report menu yes finally we can report those people that are sitting afk in our missions and just leech off experience and get scoop up all the materials in that we have been keeping a close eye on recent trends regarding afk and we agree that afk hinders the gameplay for other players however we believe that a cautious approach is required on this matter this is because afk judgment mechanisms can sometimes be bypassed with simple shooting or moving actions and the afk kick system can be exploited for other purposes first we are trying to learn the patterns of afk players with afk reports through this we plan to collect the information necessary to separate afk players in matchmaking and prepare an appropriate measure in the future we are considering ways to resolve the afk issue so that everyone can enjoy the game together we ask you to respect other players in the meantime and if you have an idea on this matter please let us know well you made the correct actually change and we now have the ability to report those guys that are sitting afk um, the ui has been updated so that major rewards obtained from quests that have already been cleared or checked in the quest lists um, a function has been added to view acquisition information directly in the target section of the library fixed an issue of scrolling to the top when moving from the target item of library to the corresponding corresponding item list added firearm types and round types to the library weapon list when com uh, completing a void fragment mission obtaining two types of void charts the amount obtained has increased by approximately 1.5 times so now we get more shards which is great uh this is a positive change um meaning we need to grind more void fragments um void fusion reactor mission two tip changes added linked uh, amorphous material to void fusion reactors mission two tip there was no information on most of them so right now we do know what uh, amorphous materials dropped there uh director's comment we discovered and fixed an issue where a party members abort mission system was being exploited to rep repeatedly play the void fusion reactor without consuming any shards oh bad boys who has been exploiting this while addressing this glitch we also considered why player why players might resort to using it we realized that the transition from shard farming to actual void fusion reactor missions was quite inconvenient and tedious therefore we not only fixed the bug but also increased the amount of void shards obtained and improved the farming process to make it more convenient please wait a little longer as we will sig significantly improve the fragment farming routes in the upcoming week five update scheduled for august 1st nice more more coming in the dev team will continue to learn and grow from your playing experiences we will always listen to your valuable feedback and strive to provide a better gaming environment thank you thank you devs Descendants, Trail Bomb and Lightning Emissions with the Ultimate Bunny High Voltage Module will now target nearby targets rather than random targets. That's a bunny change. Um, allergy of uh, Resurrection uh, Serum of Eugene uh, now applies to Colossuses as well. I don't even have him unlocked yet, but um, yeah, just keep that in mind. Ultimate Bunny Electric Charge, High Voltage and Bunny 
electric contents sound effects have been changed. We will check those out in a second once the servers go live. And use bunny skills to inflict electrocution on enemies has been removed from the second and third stage evolution conditions of the bunny evolving skin Speedy Awakened 1, which I don't have. Anyways, infiltration operation. You can now view mission results through the escape menu. The time limit for destroying the Iron Iron has been removed in the infiltration operation, fortress, heart of the fortress mission. The location of the supply droids in the infiltration infil Infiltration Operation Fortress Quarantine Zone has been moved to the battle zone, making it easier to supply bullets. Missions. The position of immunity spheres of named monsters will now not change anymore as the monsters move or rotate. The sequential sphere type of the named immunity of alternate hand of Nazira, Nazistra uh, appears in the White Knight Gulch Eye of the Truth has been updated. Field. The drop quantity on hard difficulty has been increased by 1.5. Please explain. What? 1.5. They increased what exactly? I didn't get this update. Miscellaneous. The stack limit for consumable items has been increased from 1 million to 100 million. Big inventory bump up. Updated some icon images. The first descendant has been developed with a deep affection and respect for various looter shooters, and we take feedback regarding other similar games very seriously. Through the, this hotfix, we are trying to reflect the unique identity of the first descendants. We will continue to improve the game for the fans of the genre. Of the genre. Optimization improvements. Fix the memory leak that occurred inter, uh, intermittently in windowed mode. Fix the memory leak when using frame generation. Fix the issue of temporary frame drops when opening inventory with DLSS frame generation. Fix an issue where frame limit was not restored even if additional options were changed to off when DLSS, DLSS frame generation or FSR frame generation is enabled. Bug fixes, some language fixes over here. Uh, symbol effects have been added for code analyzer, code breaker, and core material drops. Fixed an issue where account names with the hashtag were not visible. Descendants. Fixed an issue where the descendant couldn't be changed after completing exclusive dungeon of the quest to Bunny or beloved daughter. This is the Bunny uh, quest. Uh, we love how Bunny runs fast and leashes electric energy to take down her enemies. Bunny is the descendant who gains her power in proportion to the distance she travels however rolling around in a corner and using her skills was not what we expected from her so we decided to fix this additionally we are detecting the use of various macros and unauthorized programs through our monitoring system including the rolling in place macro damn i didn't even know that exists we are currently taking action against macros and unauthorized programs and will continue to strive to create a more enjoyable gaming environment for everyone. Fans incoming. Fixed an issue where sound effect was not uh, played. In okay, blah, blah, blah. We need those fixes. Here I highlighted for the modules changes. Uh, fix an issue where the arc acceleration module did not increase the speed and distance of projectiles. Fix an issue where Ajax body enhancement module did not reflect the max shield in the current shield after moving to the map. Fix an issue where the firearm attack uh, of the shoot focus module was applied as a sum operation and not as a multiplication operation. So we need to check out this. Maybe this is going to give us way more damage now. Fixed an issue where the module list uh, scroll was reset to the top after module enhancement. Missions. I'm just going to read over here the highlight of the director's comment. The fortress outskirts have become a popular farming area with many monsters pouring in front uh, in from the beginning of launch. We love the run and kill play and believe running, shooting and bursting are fundamental aspect of a looter shooter. However, using the terrain to explore, uh, exploit and monsters without any, uh, without any was not what was what we intended. If everyone simply stood still and hunted, the game's enjoyment would quickly diminish. Therefore, we decided to make a change. 
We main the spawn rate by keeping the vo four Vogus resource storages actively uh, active simultaneously, but monsters will not increase when players are idle. Run, shoot, and create some explosions. Many mon more monsters will continue to appear. Okay. Field changes. Fix an issue where code analyzer was uh, intermittently uh, required when working with the encrypted vault in the in void interceptance battle. Fix an issue where the removal did not happen and the grappling hook was maintained during a battle. Let's check out this last director's comment. Thanks to the love and interest that you have shown us, we feel the brimly, brimming energy of the community. Hotfix 1.0. Uh, 1.0.3 includes many fixes which we hope will improve your gaming experience. Recently, we saw a video in the community where the Colossus was defeated more quickly through model switching. If we had a bit more time, we would have liked to include a fix for this hot in this 1.0.3, but unfortunately, it didn't make it into this update. The dev team does not want module switching to become another strategy. This method makes combat tedious uh, and does not fit well with the run and gun playstyle. The dev team wants skills, weapons, modules and external components to be part of the strategy. We hope that in-depth build uh, research will progress, but strategies requiring inconvenient control are not what the development team aims for. Last but not least, we are planning to skip the patch next week for the upcoming fifth week uh, update on August 1st. Please look forward to, to the new Descendant Luna and Ultimate Valby, new intercept battles, new ultimate weapons, modules, external components and skins on August 1st. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the latest hotfix patch that they rolled out today. I highlight a few things about this patch. If you do enjoy videos like this, where I just go through uh, the patch notes and read and highlight um, the more important stuff, let me know in the comments below. I would really appreciate if you um, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.